finding the nth term, the nth term is like the general rule or the formula of a quadratic sequence. Now with a quadratic sequence, the rule is that the second difference is the same or constant. This is very important. The second difference must be the same. Whereas with an arithmetic or a linear sequence, the first difference is the same. Okay, so we want to find the nth term of this sequence, 2, 5, 10, 17, 26, dot, dot, dot. Now, when we're given a sequence, we don't know straight away if it's quadratic or linear or something else. So we have to start off by having a look at the first difference between each term. So to get from 2 to 5, there's a difference of 3. To get from 5 to 10, there's a difference of 5. To get from 10 to 17, there's a difference of 7. And to get from 17 to 26, there's a difference of 9. Now, clearly, these numbers are different. So this cannot be an arithmetic or a linear sequence. So now we're going to have a look at the second difference. So to get from 3 to 5, it's a difference of 2. From 5 to 7, it's a difference of 2. And from 7 to 9, it's a difference of 2. So since the second difference is the same, we know that this is definitely a quadratic sequence. And because it's a 2 every time, we know that n squared is contained in our sequence. So what we're going to do is we're going to write out the actual n squared sequence, which is just the typical square number sequence. So 1 squared is 1, so our first term is 1. 2 squared is 4, so our second term is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25, and so on. So now we're going to write out our sequence, which is 2, 5, 10, 17, and 26, directly underneath the n squared sequence. And what we want to do is we want to compare each term in the n squared sequence to the same term in our sequence and see what is the difference. So in the first term, to get from 1 to 2, we're going to add on 1. To get from 4 to 5, we're going to add on 1. To get from 9 to 10, we're going to add on 1. To get from 16 to 17, we're going to add on 1. And to get from 25 to 26, we're going to add on 1. So our sequence, 2, 5, 10, 17, 26, is very, very like the n squared sequence, but 1 has been added on to each term. So the nth term of our sequence is going to be n squared plus 1. Now we want to find the nth term of this sequence, 4, 7, 12, 19, 28. Again, we don't know straight away what type of a sequence it is, but regardless of that, we always start off by finding the first common difference, or the first difference between the terms. So to get from 4 to 7, it's a difference of 3. 7 to 12, a difference of 5. 12 to 19, a difference of 7. And 19 to 28, a difference of 9. So since the first difference is clearly not the same, this cannot be an arithmetic or a linear sequence. So now we find the di second difference. To get from 3 to 5, a difference of 2. 5 to 7, a difference of 2. 7 to 9, a difference of 2. Now, since the second difference is the same, this is definitely a quadratic sequence. And since there is a second common difference of 2 each time, we know that n squared is contained in our sequence. So again, we're going to write out the typical square number sequence. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, dot, dot, dot. Then we're going to write out our sequence directly underneath. 4, 7, 12, 19, 28. And we're going to compare the two. Okay, to get from 1 to 4, it is plus 3. To get from 4 to 7, plus 3 again. 9 to 12, plus 3. 16 to 19, 
plus 3, 25 to 28 plus 3. So the nth term of our sequence is going to be n squared plus 3. So again, we're trying to find the nth term of a sequence. We start off by finding the difference between each term. To get from minus 2 to 2, it's a difference of 3. From 2 to 7, a difference of 5. 7 to 14, a difference of 7. 14 to 23, a difference of 9. So since this first difference is not the same, it's not an arithmetic or a linear sequence. So now we have to find, is there a common second difference? To get from 3 to 5, a difference of 2. 5 to 7, a difference of 2. 7 to 9, a difference of 2. So since the second difference is the same, we know that our sequence is definitely quadratic. And since it has a second common difference of 2, we know that n squared is contained in our sequence. So again, we write out the square number sequence. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, dot, dot, dot. Then underneath it, we're going to write out our sequence. Minus 1, 2, 7, 14, 23. And then we're going to compare the n squared sequence to our sequence and see what the difference is. To get from 1 to minus 1, we have to minus 2. To get from 4 to do, we have to minus 2. To get from 9 to 7, we have to minus 2. From 16 to 14, minus 2. And 25 to 23, minus 2. So the nth term for our sequence is n squared minus 2. Okay, so now we want to find the nth term of this sequence, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. Again, I'm going to find the difference between each term. To get from 4 to 9, it's going to be a difference of 5. To get from 9 to 16, a difference of 7. 16 to 25, a difference of 9. 25 to 36, a difference of 11. So, since we don't have the same first difference. We know it's not an arithmetic or a linear sequence. So then we have to find the second difference. To get from 5 to 7, it's a difference of 2. 7 to 9, a difference of 2. 9 to 11, a difference of 2. So since we have a second common difference, we know that our sequence is quadratic. And since we've got a 2 as the common difference, we know that n squared is contained in our sequence. But if we look at this sequence that we are given, hopefully these numbers are familiar and they are actually the n squared numbers, but they don't start at 1. So our normal n squared sequence starts at 1 because 1 squared is 1, then 4 because 2 squared is 4, then 9 because 3 squared is 9, 16, 25, dot, dot, dot. Our sequence, however, starts at 4. So our sequence is 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, dot, dot, dot. So it is the n squared sequence, but it's been moved up by one step. So the nth term for this sequence is n plus 1 squared. So we want to find the nth term of the sequence 9, 16, 25, 36, 49. So hopefully you recognize these numbers as being our square numbers or part of our square number sequence. So I'm going to skip ahead to our n squared sequence. So in our typical n squared sequence or a square number sequence the first term is 1 because 1 squared is 1. Second term is 4 because 2 squared is 4. Third, square, third term is 9 because 3 squared is 9. 16, 25, dot, dot, dot. Now our sequence here starts with 9. Then 16, 25, 36, 
49, dot, dot, dot. So our sequence is very like n squared, but it's actually been moved up by two steps. So our first term is basically n plus 2 squared. So our first term, if the n was to represent a 1, 1 plus 2 makes 3, and 3 squared is 9. So this is our nth term of this sequence. 